Hi, my beautiful friends. Long time no see. Um, it's been two weeks um, since my last flow, and um, I'm sorry because I have been sick for almost two weeks. And uh, finally, I feel a lot better. And uh, I think now is the time to launch another beautiful flow. And today's flow is about releasing tension and pain in our lower back and hip area. And um, it's a very, uh, it's a very fun and it's very creative flow. And also in the meantime, it's releasing a lot of the tensions in our lower body and in our lower back. And I hope at the end of the session, you will feel very relieved from any stress or any tension you have stored in your low back or hips or even mentally. Thank you very much. And let's start the flow. All right, let's start by standing up on our mat. Um, by standing in mountain pose, and let's uh, have three rounds of breath to connect with our body. Deep breath in and out. In and out. in and out take a big breath in raise your arms up gaze up and hold your uh, left wrist with your right hand and bring your left foot behind behind in the mat behind your right foot and pull your left wrist to the um, to the direction of the right. This is standing side stretch. Externally rotate your um, left shoulder, open up your chest. You can gaze forward or gaze up. Take three rounds of breaths here. Every exhale, um, try to stretch more, lengthen your left side muscles more. Last inhale in, exhale, listen carefully, slowly bend at hips and bring your torso down. Reach your arms out to the right diagonal direction. You can have your right legs bent and just stretch out. Feeling the stretch from um, of your left lower back area. Next breath in, slowly come up, raise your torso up and come back to center. Hands together at heart center. And let's bring it to the other side. Breathe in, arms up. Left hand hold the right wrist and the right legs behind. Come into this side, standing side stretch on the right side. In and out, pulling more. Shoulders and chest open. Next breath out, bend at the hips. Your hands can hold at your waist. And bend down, you can bend your uh, left knee slightly and hands, arms reach out in front of you to the left. Straighten your right leg can help um, increase the stretch of the right lower back. Release, relax your shoulders. Let your hand head hang. Inhale, come back to center and mountain pose. Hands together at heart center. All right, now let's 
bring the feet together you can have your feet slightly uh, slightly uh, away from each other or bring them together and slowly bend down you can hold your uh, hips or you can put your hands together like lam namaste in front of you and bend down heels up your back straighten at the end of the pose, you should feel your glutes are meeting with your heels. They're, they're meeting with each other and your back totally up, straighten. You can keep your hands on the knees or with them together in front of your heart. Stay here for three rounds of breaths. This is a balance pose. And slowly, let's come down onto our knees. Vijarasana. Kneeling pose. So from here, let's do a few rounds of kneel, kneeling um, cat and cow. Inhale, your, you can hold your hands. Um, your hands can hold your knees. And inhale, open up the chest towards the sky. Gaze up. Shoulders open, exhale, round, and chain to the chest. You feel the neck expanding and upper back expanding. Inhale, chest open, gaze up, exhale, round, chest in, chin in, sorry, not chest in. Feel the roundness of your back. Inhale, open. Slightly bend, back bend. Let's so round. Three more rounds at your own pace. Okay, come back to center. Now let's shift our weight onto, onto the right side of the, um, of the mat and bring your uh, both legs, both feet on the outside of your left, left side to sit on your right hips, right sit bone. And take a big breath in, raise your right arm to the sky pointing to the left side of the room exhale bend even more your left hand can hold um, the left shin or place it next to your left foot inhale chest up externally rotate your right shoulder exhale bend even more you can keep your head up or let your head hang to relax your neck. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Let's slowly rotate our body to the right side of the, towards the right side, maintaining the same position of the legs and feet. And then your right hand landed behind of your right hip and your left hand rested on the right on top of the right knee facing towards the right side of the room your back is uplifting your crown is like somebody pulling up and don't slouch your back and you feel the twisting is coming from your hips your low back your chest and your neck Another variation of this position, of this pose, is you can try to um, reach your left hand backwards to hold your um, right elbow and look behind you.
stay up and tall here. Breeze. Three rounds of breeze. Slowly press your right hand down firmly to the floor and press your hips front uh, forward and you raise your left hand up to the sky and you can extend your left legs and the left arm out and press your hips forward coming into this variation of uh, <clears throat> kneeling back, um, back bend. Slowly come back to center and let's bring it to the other side. Move your weight to the left side and your right hand can be placed a little bit outside of your uh, right foot. And in, uh, inhale, lift your left arm to the sky, exhale, point towards the right side and come into this side bend mermaid pose. Chest open, gaze up. Next, exhale, slowly rotate your body to the left side. Land your left hand behind your left hip and your right hand rested on top of your left knee. Sit up and tall, look forward to the left side. Try to hold your left elbow with your right hand. Coming into this torso twist variation. Right. Carefully and slowly press down the left hand firmly to the floor and extend your left, le uh, right leg and right hand out. And come back to center. Great, perfect. And now let's sit on our mat with our legs extended in front of us. Um, the, coming into the staff pose, Dandasana. Sit up and tall, legs straight, straight stretched out in front of us and uh, feet uh, feet flex and your hands placed on uh, next um, right next to your hips stay here for three rounds of breaths next inhale raise your arms up exhale coming into this seated forward fold Try to, um, try, if you cannot go down, you can just sit up and tall. The point here is to keep your low back uh, straightened. Don't round or slouch your back. So you can either stay here. If you are more flexible, you can go down a little bit more. Your hands can, you can enter even if your, your flexibility allows, you can even interlace your hands and hold it behind your, um, your feet and rest your forehead on top of your shin or knee. Five breaths here, five rounds of breaths here. Slowly coming up. Press yourself up and let's try, um, let's try cradle pose. Okay, so listen carefully. Um, bend your right knee and try to hold your uh, right, uh, hold your right foot with your hands and bring the foot up. Knees close to your chest. Slowly rotate, externally rotate your 
knees and your thighs and bring the sole of your right foot to place it on to place it at your right uh, left elbow like this on your uh, left um, left upper arm and then to grab your left your right hand with your right left arm something like this like holding a baby that's why the name is called cradle pose so your arm is around your knees and your shins stay up and tall chest open shoulders back and away from the ears stay up and tall you can bring swing your body a little bit left to right just to release some tension stored at the hips area this is a great stretch pose for the hip and then from here slowly bring the left the right foot on top of your left thigh slightly on, on top of the slightly on top of the left knee and bend your left leg and place your hands a little in, uh, a little behind you and come into this seated swine pose bring your torso a little bit up up upward and then you can bend your left knee a little bit more so coming into this even even deeper stretch of your right um, right hip right side outer side stay here take two rounds of breath and swing side to side or stay still next inhale exhale shift your weight onto the left side maintain the same position of your legs don't move and bring the sole of your right foot to the floor and then rotate your body simultaneously backwards to face backwards of the room and you can feel the stretch of your left um, lower back and the front side of the of the side and uh, the front side of the hip, left hip and slowly let's try something fun and um, bring your body to the floor you can hold your weight with your left um, album like this and can rest your upper body on top of your left elbow and bring and um, swing your right hand backwards to hold your left uh, foot and to bring the left foot closer to the glute to the hips and extend your right leg out and this is cat tail pulling pose so you can feel the ex Expansion on the front side of the left hip. Try to open up your chest. This helps the expansion. To release from this pose, let's slowly turn our uh, turn to face the back side of our mat and bring yourself up again back into this down dasana pose sit up and tall and stay here to run the breath now let's bring it to the other side let's hold our um, left foot into our chest knees into our chest and slowly rotate the legs and bring the sole of left foot into the inner side of the right elbow and run and um, circle your other arm to hold the knee 
to hold the entire out, outer edge of the shin and the knee. Sit up and tall and hold. Feel the stretch of the left outer side and left hip. Carefully place the foot on top of the right side and bring the legs up, the right leg up. Sit your torso closer to your foot and open up your chest. In this po pose, you try to open up your left knee away, like intentionally moving the left knee away from your, your torso, away from yourself. So that, that way you can feel more stretch of the hip area. And slowly let's do the rotation. Bring the left foot to the floor and the body simultaneously rotate backwards. Come down onto your right elbow and let's come into this cat tail pulling pose on the other side. Bring your right foot with your um, with your right hand bring it closer to the hips and extend your left foot out and bring push push through your right elbow to bring yourself up don't slouch bring yourself up feel the expansion the stretch on the outside on the front side of the right hip right hip area and slowly release and listen carefully this time let's release to come onto our bellies so let's just rotate even more to come onto our bellies. And uh, let's rest here in this reverse corpse pose, reverse Shavasana. Um, bring the forehead to the floor, arms totally relaxed and stretched out in front of us and legs totally uh, stretched out and relaxed behind us and bring your forehead down. Let's stay here for five rounds of breath just to take a break and relax. And slowly um, to prevent yourself from falling asleep and um, move your hands closer to yourself you can place your hands a uh, little on um, little out out of the mat or on the uh, two corners of the mat and let's do a few rounds of spine wave so slowly inhale elbows up Externally rotate the shoulders and forehead down and inhale. Slowly push the floor away to lift yourself up into this upward, um, um, into this high cobra. Stay here. Still wave down. And your head comes at last. Let's do two more rounds. You can also use your fingertips. Inhale, push up. When you push up your upper body, you try to imagine that you're pushing down to the floor through your pubic bone and through your hip area and your, your glutes. Um, so 
tightening the glutes and the, the hips will further enhance the lower back muscle in this posture. Press to the sky and slowly exhale, wave down. One last round. Inhale up. Exhale down. And let's come onto the onto sphinx 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 pose. To balance on our forearms, and uh, you can move your body a little bit in front of you, uh, in front, and uh, try to relax your lower body, and uh, press down through your pubic bone, and lift yourself up through the chest. Gaze forward, shoulders back and away from the ears. Here, let's tuck our toes and come onto um, kind of like forearm plank pose. But you have to use your core strength a lot here just to move your hips up. Okay. Slowly walk towards your the front side of the mat. This is a dolphin pose. Lift your hips up and high, maintaining balance on your forearms. You can try to reach the, reach the mat by pressing down your heels. Suck your belly in, push the hips up. Head and the neck in between your arms. You feel the entire stretch from uh, of the back side of the legs, the hamstrings. Last breath in, out. Come onto your knees. Let's relax, and let's extend extend our arms out in front of you, and um, in front of us, and come into this puppy pose, with the hips stacked above the knee, and chest to the floor. You can either try to reach. Uh, you can either place your chain on the on, on the mat to have more uh, stretch or your forehead up to you and slowly from this happy um puppy pose let's come in let's bring some uh introduce the thread the needles here sorry i have to pull my clothes um bring your right arm underneath your left and your right cheek on the floor you can bring your left hand closer to you and to push away, to push the floor away and make the twist even deeper. Slowly come back into center and let's bring it to the other side. Release, come back to center, and widen your knees and bring your toes together. And let's slowly round up and come into this wild leg child pose. Rest here, five rounds of breaths. Slowly bring yourself up. And, um, now let's come onto our back. Now 
lay down on our back bring the knees towards the chest and just give a little gentle massage of the legs just give some gentle touch on the feet on the shins on the thighs on the roots give a little love to yourself and hold it tight and then try to reach uh, try to come um, bring the arms inside of your legs and hold the out the outside edge of your both feet bring the knees close to your armpits and come into this happy baby pose every time you exhale try to imagine you bring your knees closer to your armpits closer to the floor keep your low back your hips grounded on the floor don't round it. don't round it up close your eyes just to feel the stretch and give yourself a little swing side to side just to feel good and slowly let's straighten the legs and flex the feet arms down hands down on the side and let's just hold the legs like this like 90 degree this is half plow pose and this is really good for the um, it's it's kind of like a half inversion pose so um, so that the blood actually is circulate backwards it is really good for our heart so let's just take um, a moment here mm, like five breaths here just to feel the inversion of the legs a bit shaky is okay and still keep gently touch the legs saying hello you're doing a great job holding it there slowly bring the legs down and uh, let's uh, do one round of bridge pose it's a very good uh, uh, lower back and the hip lengthen, uh, strengthening lengthening pose um, before we finish our practice inhale bring the hips up tighten the glutes and knees close to each other so slowly vertebra by vertebra bring your spine down all right so in the meantime let's just do one round of um, fish pose it's a very good pose for the upper upper back back bend let's place the hands um, underneath our hips close to our hips or underneath our hips elbows in elbows in legs straightened out relax take a big breath in lift your upper body up and bring the crown of your head to the floor to rest on the floor open up your throat and chest to the floor to the sky sorry five rounds of breaths here you are holding weights on your hands and on your forearms but not on your head 
Your head is relaxed on the floor. Slowly release, come down. Okay, one last pose before we close our practice. Bring the soles of your feet together and knees out on the side. This pose is Supta Baddha Konasana, Supine Butterfly Pose. It's a very good uh, hip opening pose with the with um with the body like with the body totally relaxed and just let the gravity doing the opening job for you Relax your lower back into the floor in your hips. Relax them into the floor. Let the gravity gravity opening your opening your hips even more. Relax your entire upper body, your lower body. Just relax. This is the last asana of our practice. Just take big breaths in, out, in the mouth, relax. Slowly open your eyes if they're closed and gently use your hands, bring your knees upwards and close, close them. And let's come to the side of our body. Very gently, take a big breath here. Gently push yourself up into seated. Let's close our practice with a big breath in, arms up. And exhale, hands together at heart center. Thank you very much for being with me in this practice. I hope you enjoy this though. And I hope um, if you have any low back pain or hip um, tension, hip pain, I hope this flow really can help you release some of the stress or tension or pain. And um, yeah, I hope to see you again in my next episode and look forward to my next episode as well. Thank you very much and uh, see you. Bye-bye.